protests broke out in different parts of the country after the then National Inter Platform presidential candidate Robert Chagulani Sentamu was arrested on the campaign trail in Luka district. The protests, which appeared to have caught security forces off guard, saw over 54 people shot and killed in different parts of the country. Ahead of the first year anniversary of these protests and the resultant killings, the National Inter Platform has kick-started a week of events to mark the lives of their supporters, who lost their lives on November 18th and 19th, 2020. At the event, relatives of the victims tasked the government to bring to book the security personnel who were involved in the shootings so that their departed relatives can have justice. The NUP leadership promised to do whatever it takes to hold the perpetrators accountable. Their killing has been going on and detected until now when I think it has, they just cannot contain it anymore. But one day, this God who avenges his people uh, will do it. There is hope, there is hope, there is hope for Uganda. And as we remember today, may God remember Uganda. May their souls rest in eternal peace. They have planted for us. And indeed, the seeds are sprouting up. We have always warned this regime. You kill one person, ten, even more will come. However, the party president Robert Chagulani sent him expressed his disappointment with the country's security forces for not punishing those within their ranks that shot fellow citizens. It's unfortunate that even when Museveni came out to pretend that he respects human rights, nobody has been apprehended for the November massacre. Even when many cameras captured that, we know who killed our people. The party leaders lit candles, laid wreaths and flags of the party officer flying at a half-mast in commemoration of the lives of their fallen supporters. However, police has warned the party against getting involved in any incidents that may be against the COVID-19 health preventive measures. The issue that we are talking about is these unlawful processions. Processions are still under outlawed. It is what we are countering. Even in Lira, what you saw in Lira was a threat as far as uh, 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 public safety is concerned. We still have the threat of COVID-19. Oh. Gently for Mala, NTV News.